What is going on, lunatics? Two things happen. You should be alarmed about one of them. You should be happy about another one. I'm going to break it all down for you. If, you. if you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button on your way in because the burns have started. We finally got what we were looking for, but it hasn't translated to price action because it just happened. So let's break it down. Let's check it out without further delay. All right, so uh, 251 billion Luna Classic were just burned in the last, uh, I want to say like two hours. Uh, also, uh, we had 264 million USTC burned. Now, you might be asking yourself, what about the entire 2 billion that's sitting in the LFG? Well, I don't have an answer uh, for that right now, but um, it is good that we've seen this happen right here. So uh, let's break this down. Let's unpack this a little bit and figure out what's going on. First of all, Terra Luna Classic community approves new tax proposal to simplify the blockchain tax system. Reverse charge, which was implemented or which was um, brought, and, and I believe it's going to go through Orbit Labs, but uh, Strathcole, Happy Caddy Crypto work together to make that happen and bring this up as a um, a, a, as an item. So, uh, and again, by the way, Binance Square. Are you bullish yet? You should be. Uh, despite, it, look, we, we had a dip in price. I'm going to show it to you in just a few minutes and then you guys maybe will recognize what's happening right now. And I think that, um, um, I, 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 you know what? Stick with me. I'll show you in just a second. As far as Commonwealth goes, same proposals are up. Uh, the proposal for the CMC links. But nothing has come to governance yet, so it's not something to worry about until it's something to worry about. As far as uh, as far as meme coins go, cat with hat down, boys down, food down, jurors down, lunk down. It's it's all down right now because of the pairing. Because it doesn't, it's not it's not a favorable pairing. Uh, while you're you're having a dump on Luna Classic, uh, but that dump looks like it might be over, and we might be seeing some positive direction. So again, stick with me here, and let's get it all figured out. Okay, so price action. So the frustrating part is in one day, it was able to break outside of this channel, which means that we are no longer being held in place. And the 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 end result here has now changed. So we need to look at this in a different fashion. So what we were looking for was that big move up to that next. And by the way, nothing changes about that fundamentally, but now what we have to look at is this. So from, I'm going to zoom out here just a little bit so you can get a kind of an idea here that for a long, long time, there's been this downward sort of pressure, right? And I mean, look, you can go way back here, uh, way back here uh, into March, and you can see right here that we're just kind of getting that downward sort of momentum, right? Well, and this, by the way, is a good thing, but let's take another step here and let's, this right here is... Uh, a, a descending wedge, which usually breaks towards the upside. Um, so what we're looking at, at at this point really is just kind of a bounce off of the 382 line on this Fib retracement. This is a longer term Fib retracement. We'll do some more. We'll kind of look at it from the next uh, impulse move situation there. Um, but uh, just in the long term, in matter of fact, we'll go ahead and delete that now. Uh, it, it looks to me like we're looking at this descending wedge sort of breakout happening over the next little while. So what we'll need to see happen will be a continued move right up in here and then breakout above and then confirmation coming right in to this, right? Nothing fundamentally has changed. It's just that uh, this long standing sort of trend just got kind of broken out. So, um, and, and look, it's got to be noted that, you know, the problem here is timing. This was one of, number one, timing. And number two, the U.S. election. U.S. election happens in about 24 hours. We'll have the results in about 48 hours, or we should have the results in about 48 hours. But we're getting a general consensus here on uh, uh, what's going on. We're not getting an honest consensus. I want you to understand, uh, in the United States, what we're getting is we're getting gaslit by the right-wingers who are making up polls that say that Trump is winning in a landslide. Uh, and we've got the other thing, the same thing happening on the other side where, you know, um, they would like to tell you that they're, um, uh, that, that the decisions are, are that, that, that Democrats are, are slightly in the lead. But the important part in the United States is there are a lot of undercounted voters and there are a lot of people who just don't tell you that they want to vote for Donald Trump or they don't tell you that they want to vote for Kamala Harris. They don't do that because 
you basically get attacked in your region. Not physically, by the way, but uh, you can't be that person. Blah 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 blah. Um, there, there, there's a it's a, it's an ongoing struggle right now. Uh, so we don't really know how this is going to play out. But for for people who don't understand, the the U.S. elections are basically a 50-50 toss-up at any given moment. Um, the, in the last election, Joe Biden won by something like 7.7 million votes. And um, a, a bunch of sore losers decided that they didn't like the results and um, they, they said that it was stolen. Uh, in, in fact, Steve Bannon came out and told people, by the way, this was a leaked audio that happened in the last 24 hours. Steve Bannon was talking to somebody off the record saying that, yeah, it doesn't matter whether Trump is going to win or lose. If he loses, we're going to lie and we're going to say that he won no matter what. That's the game plan. So um, they even told you what they were going to do before they did it. So, but, but nonetheless, it's basically a 50-50 split. So um, that means that the market is going to be suppressed at least for a couple more, uh, just for a little bit longer. But look, it's tomorrow. And then within 21 days of the election, the last time we had an election, uh, when Joe Biden won, went up 45%. And guys, Joe Biden has been largely anti-crypto. Now, when somebody says that to me, I usually defend it and say, well, listen, he did approve the Bitcoin ETF. Um, his administration did approve the Ethereum ETF. But, but we have to be perfectly honest here. When you take those pieces out of the equation, then it's been basically an attack on cryptocurrency in many different instances. And when I say that, I I, I don't want to sound like it. Look, if you're if you're a smart person, I don't want to sound like a monkey here to you. Um, the attack is largely based on staking. The U.S. government considers staking to be a security, and they've attacked every person or company that provides a staking surface uh, ser service, which ends up being like a third party. When that is to say, if Coinbase bundles up their uh, crypto and sends it to a third party for a staking pur purpose, that creates an investment contract. And that's what the SEC has been saying, largely across the board on all of these. And they've been wrong a few times. Okay. And then how you sell the crypto has also been at odds. If you're selling it in a massive presale, then it was considered by the US government to be uh, a, a form of a security. That's why we're in this this position that we're in right now with the with the government. So uh, and and by the way, the, the U.S. government is not a bad actor. They just don't understand crypto. That's really what it comes down to. They don't understand, or at least they understand it under the context of the way that um, you would understand a normal investment contract, the orange growth, if you will. Uh, if you buy an orange, orange is is a commodity, not a security. But if you buy a contract for futures from an orange. Uh, then you're creating an investment contract and that is a security. And that's what they're saying that when you bundle up some of these assets, that's what you're creating. So that's what's going on. Now, further back to the market. I know I got off track with you a little bit, but stick with me because the U.S. market is about to soar. I'm going to tell you why. Um, so first, the election is going to be over and then we're going to absolutely explode. Now, as you can see right here, we're down about $3 billion on the day. We were up about $12 billion, uh, but really uh, a few minutes ago. A few, a few minutes ago, we were up $12 billion. Now, we're down $3 billion. U.S. market is coming online, and basically, they suck the liquidity out of everything. It's just what they, what we are, what we do it's at this point. So, uh, and the nervousness about the, the election. And by the way, it's not nervousness about the election. They don't care who the president is. Nobody, nobody cares who the president is, okay? Except people who are uh, stuck on their woke ideology or anti-woke idea. By the way, both of them are ideologies, and both of them are silly, Um so uh, what is going to happen is we'll get whoever the president is, and the market doesn't like uncertainty, and the market is uncertain about the path forward. And that is to say, if the market works a certain way, if you like, uh, if you like Donald Trump, right, then you're looking for lower taxes uh, for rich people who will then put their money into risk assets. And if you're looking for Kamala Harris and you're looking for um, uh, you're, you're looking for middle class tax cuts and that the uh, billionaires are going to quote unquote pay their fair share. So you're, you're looking at it from two different aspects if you're an investor and you don't know exactly which one it's going to be. So you want to hedge your investment at this point. And you want to wait and see 
who the person is so that you can make your investment based on what you perceive their policy to be. Both of their policies, by the way, are available at you know donaldtrump.org, kamalaharris.org, whatever the, the websites are. Uh, you can go look at their policies uh, and get an outline of their plans. Um, and, and for anybody here who thinks there's some kind of Project 2025 nonsense, stuff like that, that's not that's that's not real. But by the way, uh, there, there are pieces to it that both, uh, both parties uh, actually will we'll kind of adopt over time, um, as you will see. But a year ago, the valuation of Cryptonomy.finance was $3.7 billion, according to the British government. Today, that value, $6.1 billion. This company has managed to raise $2.4 billion in capital over the last 365 days. If you're looking for a place to get information about investment opportunities, then cryptonomy telegrams are the place over here. This is the quarter, uh, this is the quarter, third quarter uh, marketing overview. This is Ben Armstrong has predicted uh, XRP past ETH in market capitalization. These are news articles that are constantly giving you the information that you need. Additionally, there's an update channel and it's giving you market structure playouts. It's giving you market updates on each major country and indices that there are out there right now to give you an idea of what is going on in the market so that you can get an idea of what it looks like broadly and how these governments are working. Big news articles, whatever you need, Cryptonomy has it for you. Not only does Cryptonomy have it, but myself, Dean DCA, Crypto, Lyft Capital, Jake Gordon, we're all writing articles for Cryptonomy. You can come check. I did one on Immutable Quarter 2 of 2024. Uh, we've also got Thorchain, State of NYM, and we got Ronin's Web3 Gaming Empire. Guys, if you need information about this crazy crypto market, then by all means, you need to go to economy.finance slash research. But none of that matters unless you are using cryptonomy.finance the way that it's meant to be used by setting up fixed staking so that you can earn some significant yields. Let's set up a deposit today. Today we're dropping three ETH into a nine month contract. All right, we've created that, but the biggest move into all of it is the launch pool. Guys, I cannot stress enough. They've had 57 X average return so far in their investments. If you just create a deposit, I've got a potential for up to 5X with a 50-50 profit sharing from the launch pool. We're gonna create this contract now for $20,000. And there we have it. The anticipated profit between one and 5X when this thing is completed. And it will complete in October of 2025, just in time to cash out for the bull market. So what are you waiting for? Sign up for autonomy.finance today. None to be concerned about in so much as there's no attack on the US system. Um, so. Once there's some clarity, once we know who the president is, then the investments can come in as they want. And, you know, what's wild is this is Bitcoin. This is Bitcoin during the last election. It didn't matter who the president was. It just absolutely took off. So just realize that any moment now, all of this stuff is going to explode. So uh, I know I spent a lot of time on non-lunk stuff, but I feel it's important for you guys to know what's going on in the broader market. Now, for USTC, uh, again, significant amount of burns. Uh, we're sitting between the 50 and the 200. We've had our golden crossover. Uh, we got our little pump over here that uh, this is what's going to come back, I think, in very short uh, in very short order. I think we're, we're getting ready to see, again, this big move right here. Uh, the Asian markets did not get a chance to digest what was going on with Luna Classic uh, with these uh, huge burns. It will happen in the next couple of hours. We'll start to see the, the Asian markets look at it and say, wow, this just happened. And it is a big deal. So when you look over here, uh, you can see that there has been some changes to the circulating supply, big change to the circulating supply. When you come over here, you can see the big change over here as well. Remember it was 8.18 billion uh, or 8.13 billion just a short while ago. Now it's down to 7.8. Uh, all of the numbers have now been changed a little bit and reduced. So now we have less supply in circulation. We have a couple days to go before we get uh, um, potentially a... a uh, proposal from Ceramic on how we're going to deal with burns going forward. Terra Money hasn't made any kind of posts or acknowledgments of the burns at this point, so we're just waiting for that to, to kind of unfurl, if you will. And now the total lunk burns sit right now at $1.31 billion, uh, but the total burn right here is now $388 billion. Uh, this will be updated tomorrow, and we'll see this again, guys. This is trip. We've uh, we have three times as much burn as we had over the last two and a half years in one day. 
So uh, you're you're witnessing right now uh, a, a paradigm shift in the circulating supply. Not it's not gigantic, by the way. It should be it should be it's not gigantic, but it is bigger than anything that we've seen so far. Um, don't be weird. Now, guys, this is crazy. Okay, you know we talk about uh, we we talk about Terra Casino constantly. And if you're looking for risk-based gaming, then you know this is the place for you to go. They gave away $2.5 million to one user this month. I don't know what you're waiting for, by the way. I, I Look, there's a link in the description down below to sign up for terracasino.io. If you were to spend $5 in the course of a month, right? If you were just to spend a tiny fraction of time and your money or energy in trying to do this, you could have been one of those $2.5 million winners. You're in crypto because you like some risk-based gaming. You, you, you're you looking for a way to win. Well, here it is. Why aren't you winning? I mean, that's um, it, it's insanity to me that you would not sign up at the link in the description down below and just take a shot. Again, five bucks. Um, you can play 50 games for five bucks and have 50 chances to $2.5 million was given away. Like, this is crazy. Now, that being said, First of Olympians is available through Platypus uh, Partnership. They're still giving away 2 million euros for December 22nd through the World Poker League. And they gave away $5,000 just a couple days, just a couple hours ago for, uh, for, the, for the last game from Pragmatic. So uh, it, it's, it's crazy how much money is actually being given away here constantly. And look, they're betting 10 cents. They're betting 20 cents. They're betting $2. They're betting 10 cents. They're betting 30 cents. They're betting a penny. Uh, they're betting two dollars and one cent. I mean, guys, you go down the list here, and they're just they're they're and you can see what they're betting. They're using Luna Classic. They're using USDT. They're using USDC. Um, th there's a whole bunch of people out here uh, playing this and and earning and winning uh, at this. And and you are sitting on the sidelines. You just lost two point five million dollars potentially. If you would have been that winner, I would have expected a tip. But you know, there was a winner of two point five million dollars. So guys, if this is crazy, if you're not signed up today, also. If you're looking for meme coins, then the place right now, terraport.finance. Uh, by the way, you can see here on some of these pairings, they're, they're starting to get favorable over the last few hours. This this You're going to see a lot of positive movement over the next 24 hours because of the burn. So you'll see like the pairings have been really, really favorable to a lot of people for a lot of things. But let's remember, we did have a, a, a pretty significant dip here to begin with because it didn't happen when we expected. So you'll see a lot of green for the day, uh, but it won't last forever. So got my stake in here right now. I've got 10,699, 10,700, I guess now. Uh, launch pad, my average is 72.51. I'm missing 2,749 Terra I have an, to, to have an average of 10,000. So maybe I'll buy $50 more. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll speed this process along so that I can make sure that I get in on this. Uh, because could I start five days late and still be number one by the end of this? I probably could. I probably could. Because, you know, it's me. Anyway, uh, so that's it. Uh, you, you got to check out Terraport.finance if you want to trade some meme coins. And by the way, you should by this point have a little bit, a taste of some of these bigger meme coins out here because they are going to explode when this, you know, when the time is right. Uh, you, you make a small investment, uh, take an opportunity to change your life, really. 50 bucks. Remember, that's what, that's what I did. 50 bucks. And put fifty dollars in each one of these meme coins, and just sit on them and hold them, and and wait for the moment where something happens. Now, again, the the U.S. election is here, so we're going to have a little bit of a problem. And then, in closing, after the U.S. election on Thursday, we'll have the results probably on Wednesday. But on Thursday, the Fed will meet, and or on Wednesday and Thursday, uh, the Fed will meet, and they will make an announcement, and we will know what the rate cut is. And people are expecting now a 99.9% chance that it's a 25 basis cut again, which means more money is coming into risk assets. So, you know, guys, if you're not bullish right now, you're not understanding this crypto market. This is the start of the golden bull. We're almost there. We just have to get through the U.S. election. And once we have a clear leader uh, go going forward, then boom. This market is about to soar, and you're going to be part of it. I'm so proud of you guys for making it, and proud of me for making it too. So this is it, guys. Uh, strap yourself in. Uh, strap yourself on. Whatever. It's your, hey, it's your choice. You do what you got to do, baby. Uh, but it looks like we're here. We're, we're finally here. So um, join me on this journey, and uh, it's about to get crazy. It's not financial advice, but I'm always right.